What is going on? Before you even start today's video, make sure you smash that thumbs up and subscribe. It'll really mean a lot to your boy. And uh, we're on the way to 4,000 subs, so I'll see you when we get there. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so last video was the second post of Daytona Truck Meet. Um, yeah, uh, not a bad time, like I said. But today's video, um, after the drive home, you know, after seeing the eight hour total drive uh, on the interstate with this uh, wrap that I did myself, um, I wanna go over all the flaws with you guys. And uh, I wanna be completely transparent. And the biggest question of this video is, is do I regret wrapping my own truck? Um, I know I've talked about it before in the other two parts uh, you know, of making this thing, but I haven't really a answered you know, uh, a lot of the in-depth things about this. So, um, starting off with the front of the truck, uh, as you know, the bumper is really, really haggard. So, you got that right there. You got pieces I had to cut right here. Um, the bottom bumper is just like completely ruined. This side's bad. And uh, yeah, that, that'll, that'll do it for the bumper. But um, still the main question would be is, uh, do I regret doing it? No, because guess what? I have something on the way very soon for the front bumper. And I've been wanting it for a while. And thankful for the Daytona opportunities and Aaron, huge shout out to Aaron Cates. Uh, if you haven't, go check out his channel. We'll have something for the front. but. Moving on to the side of the vehicle, um, you know, not bad from far away, right? But if you get up closer, you see all these, you know, pockets of air coming from here. So, there, and I tried to do a little release or um, a tension cut, as you would say, and it didn't even work, even with a new piece of vinyl right here, as you see. But um, yeah, so this right here would have to be mm -hmm. the second downfall to, uh, you know, wrapping your own truck is. I mean, I even wiped it down with alcohol pretty decently, uh, but it still didn't turn out too great. But, um, well, like I said, we have a lot of vinyl that we can fix all this stuff. Uh, door handles up close don't look good, but first time doing it, you know, I wouldn't say they're too, too bad. Um, some of these window jams. You got little creases in them from not, you know, heating it up a lot and pressing in first rather than just heating it up and uh, doing that. And I cut too short on some of these. But, and the biggest, biggest, biggest pain is, yeah, it looks decent right here, all that. But as soon as you get down here, like, it, it was a hassle to get this. So I do have, I'm probably going to redo this first. I'm going to take off the bed and redo it properly. A uh, bed don't look bad besides the bottom recess right here, you know, but... Like I said, far away, you can't really tell. Now, uh, rocker panels didn't turn out bad. Um, coming along to the back, uh, right here on the edges, look pretty bad. So, honestly, I might get some knifeless tape, um, make an incision on the corner, and then have a nice flat piece. Roll pan didn't turn out bad, but I have a nice flat piece with the roll pan again. Um, I'm getting someone to professionally do this. Uh, because remember I told you guys I don't have the proper tool to uh, make it you know completely flat so you gotta redo that um, this part right here where the tail light is didn't turn out perfect um let's see uh, the beds I don't know what the hell is up with this you know bed thing the uh, bed cap but it's brand new and it doesn't even want to stick I had to put self tapping screws on the inside of that one because it wanted to fly off during Daytona so not cool but anyway stick with me so this side same deal um didn't turn out perfect at all um but i think this is better than the other side because this is the first one i did and i was getting a little discouraged but like all the way up here doesn't look bad and even on this uh, main part right here it's just like right here and right here and right here but uh like i said that is the hardest part i think uh, and i didn't even take off the bed so it was extremely hard um, side note, look how good these rough country tubs look, y'all. Like, it makes it look so seamless. I love that. This daggum storm brewing. Holy crap. And, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So this fender, nice, right? You got a little piece coming up right here. 
and a little bit coming up right here but i think if i cut that you won't even be able to see it uh, once i take the bumper off um a little bit of vinyl showing right here and here um this door turned out amazing besides this piece right here uh the these door the passenger side turned out pretty damn good uh with the channels is what i'm talking about so like no air bubbles in these channels so i might have to just do the um driver side is all i'm probably gonna be worried about and when i get new mirrors uh, i'm not really gonna worry about the mirrors um my buddy andrew did the mirrors but it's okay i mean first time wrapping anything y'all so well, or to this magnitude should i say um hood didn't turn out too bad considering it was actually the second piece we did and uh it took like seven hours it took a long time unfortunately but uh don't look too bad especially in the rain because <laughs> everything looks good in the rain you know what i'm saying but yeah and then the roof turned out pretty bad uh, i'm probably gonna try and do it by myself uh, we had a little miscommunication with um with pooling and whatever <sighs> it didn't turn out the greatest but i'm probably gonna get satin black and start doing some satin black um accent things so possibly the grill piece um i might when i get the new mirrors i might leave the mirrors uh, half satin black or i might get them paint match nardo gray who knows um i think paint match will look even more sexier and then talking along with the future plans um uh, we'll start with the little things so for this license plate hitch i have to get the hinge that you know instead of having to unscrew it every time I want to go tow something, I can just flip it up and then it'll just sit on the Gen Y hitch. Um, these tail lights, I'm probably going to get the chrome ones and get someone to tear them apart. Well, I'll probably tear them apart, but get someone to paint match those Nardo Gray and put the lens back on. That'll look sexy. Um, I'm going to have to do something with this damn bed caps. Like, this ain't cool, you know? Ain't cool at all. But, um... Yeah, so then I'll also have, after I get the front bumper, um, I'll also have someone I'm teaming up with to do the gauge cluster. Now, I'm probably going to be doing a Escalade bezel, um, blue needles, and white LED all around. Just make it a clean, simple look. And then I'll probably be tearing apart my HVAC unit and then my windows. And then when I get a new steering wheel, I'll probably do uh, LED swapping those as well to all white. So, um, yeah, pretty excited about getting the interior buttoned up. Uh, especially after we start rolling on the outside. <sighs> I got a big decision to make with the outside coming up shortly. Um, it's uh, it's kind of in the same ballpark of you know a big lift kit. Uh, and I've talked about it before on the channel and that's what I really truthfully want to do is straight axle swap this. But um, I would really, really want it done before uh, Myrtle Beach Truck Week in November. I'm trying to be sitting VIP for that uh, show. So. I really, really have a tough decision on whether or not to, you know, get a bolt on kit or whether to be cutting off all my IFS components and just having a solid axle. I mean, that's what I truthfully want because it's more flexible, I feel like, um, in terms of adding and subtracting components and then uh, testing out different brands, you know, different coilovers, different shocks, whatever the case may be. And then um, I just think it's, I think it's more better, you know. I don't want to be in a show, you know, Tennessee, and then my IFS breaks with my ball joint or something. So... So that's why I have a big decision with that. And uh, I really do think I'm leaning towards the uh, solid axle swap if I can find a, an axle. I, can't, I haven't found an axle in a long time. And uh, if I do find one, it's like $1,200 for the axle. So I don't know, boys and girls. Uh, drop your comments down below if you stayed this far. And uh, let me know if I should solid axle swap it or just get a 10 to 12 inch lift kit. Because uh, like I said, I'm leaning more towards the solid axle. But I posted it on an LBZ forum and a lot of people will hated me for even voicing my opinion on uh wanting a solid axle he said if you build your ifs right it'll work good i'm like no you still can't run 24 by 14s or whatever the case may be with ifs and be confident that you're not going to catch out okay um but yeah there you go for the video boys and girls um so the question or the answer is no i don't regret it i just want to get better and it really just upsets me that it wasn't as good as i thought it to be so or thought it out to be but um that'll do it for today's video boys and girls thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate it if you have stayed this far drop a like and smash that subscribe button boys and girls we are on the way to 4,000 subs and i can't wait to get there with you guys so until next time peace